The Network Society is our vision of what role the telecommunications networks will play uh, on the planet going forward. What we are coming through right now is a so-called ICT revolution. And what we say and claim is that halfway down any technological revolution, something happens in the environment where the initial concept that was installed, namely the telecoms networks, will thoroughly change the society and the world we live in. And that is exactly what is happening now. So the network society is about how connectivity, how broadband, and how all these new services will change the way societies work, our personal lives will change, you know, education will change, organizations will change, and so forth. So it's really exciting. Some people might have the idea that, you know, things that we're doing in Africa is what we did in different places five years ago. That is not the case. In Africa, we are definitely deploying the latest, you know, front-end technologies, you know, the latest stuff on all levels. That means that Africa can definitely connect into the rest of the globe, as well as the globe can connect into Africa. So this telecommunications and the network society makes this planet a much more smaller place to, to be on, basically. Connectivity and access is one thing, and it doesn't really matter if it's fixed or wireless, as long as you get access. But the question is, what do you get access to? Well, you get access to a certain throughput. And that is perhaps where Africa is a little bit behind. You know, in order to make this network society and the all-connected world a reality, you have to have throughput in the networks. And in the case of Africa, we are getting only C cables now, you know, six of them in total, and that will ultimately make Africa truly connected. The problem is, how do you get this connectivity into the countries that are landlocked? How do you get this connectivity out to the rural areas and different yeah, districts of the cities which perhaps don't have the, the, the purchasing power? So that is the question. But it's all about getting these fibers and pipes in a smart way throughout the continent. And, but there's so much energy putting into this, so it will happen definitely. I think that unless you put aims, nothing will happen. I think that these aims from the ITU are comprehensive, they are spot on, and you know, to be honest, they are not any revolutionary or you know, strange things. They're just normal common sense to get Africa up to speed uh, to be comparable, comparable with other continents. I think that the cloud is, you know, different people, companies, organizations, they have different views. But what are we talking? We are, about, we are talking about how a centralized uh, computing universe can help services being deployed without the end user or even the operator having to own the equipment. So it's like a big, shall we say, almost a big hosting machine that is floating there on top of all the infrastructure. So it's a pretty cool concept. And uh, definitely there are so many players plugging into this cloud. And so there's so much happening in this cloud right now. And it is truly a symptom of what we say when we talk about the network society. The network society will create new business models. It will create new ideas out of the box and it will create a lot of innovative new ways of doing business, driving corporations, driving uh, social uh, you know, uh, aspects of, of any society. So it's uh, really cool. Yes, I think you know, the, 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 the concept there that we're trying to uh, shall we say, uh, launch to the market or are in the progress of launching to is, is what people call shared networks. So what we're saying is that rather than every operator in every country to build out all parts of the network one by one, it makes sense to share some parts of that. 
One such part could be the transmission network. One such part, in the case of rural netco, is in fact the 3G access in rural areas. So rather than having four operators building rural 3G coverage, we are building rural 3G coverage and we are inviting the existing operators to come in and uh, tap in and getting a lower cost in general. So it's a, a good idea and uh, I think things like this is required to get out in Africa to the low purchase power areas. Definitely it's the pinnacle point of the year in uh, Africa. I mean this show has been going on now for quite some years and Definitely everyone wants to be here. It's a very good opportunity for us as a company to show what we stand for, where we are, what we think. But at the end of the day, it's a joint effort. We are an industry. The guys you see in this room here, we are the players and we are making things happen.